Hey everyone, what I'm going to be doing today on the Aspen walking stick here is I'm going to be going through it with my magnifying hood and sandpaper 220 and one thing nice about these sanding sponges when they get wore out they make a great backing for regular sandpaper don't throw them away <coughs> excuse me so uh, some people say that I'm way too picky uh, to go over these walking sticks now with magnification hood I say I'm doing what I should be doing for my customers I'm going through and I'm looking for any imperfections that uh, should be sanded out. Uh, little hoops and hollows and stuff like that. That's just the nature of the wood. But anything that is there uh, that I put there needs to be taken out. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me get the camera set up, get this thing all ready to go, and I'll get back with you. Okay, well, first off, I hope I got most of it in frame. I noticed a couple times I had it held way up. But uh, I have to say I was shocked at how many areas of little swirls were put in there. Uh, I'm sure I didn't get every one of them out, but I got the vast majority of them. And I am so glad that I started going through with, uh, with a magnifying hood. And I have a camera that takes wonderful close-up pictures and I thought of that just as I was getting to the end of this one. That on my next one, which is right here, this one here, I, I will take some pictures, some close-ups of those little swirls that I'm talking about. So everybody kind of knows what I'm getting at because when you hit it with a dark stain, man, those things just pop out like a, a, a red nose. So, got that done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over it with a 400 grit uh, sponge. I still got a couple good sponges for 400 grit. But like I said, um, when they're wore out, they make a great backup for regular sandpaper because it still will let it conform. It, it will, because these things bend and you go, you know, it, it makes it so much nicer when you're doing a rounded thing that these things will actually round off. So, 
uh, my my thoughts. So let me go get my 400 grain, 400 grit, 400 grain. I'm back into shooting again. Uh, 400 grit uh, sanding sponge, and I'll probably video a little bit of it or video it and then put it on ultra fast let's see what we can do alrighty get back at you all right we're back with a 400 Quick shot here. Okay, looks pretty darn good. Let me get the camera back up here. All right. That white. A white aspen is like sanding chalk sometimes. I got a fan going and the door opened to my shop a little bit. It's not bad outside. It's like 70, 70 some degrees. Uh, it's been raining and it's really humid. I mean really humid out. So uh, it's the only problem with sitting outside. Otherwise I'd be outside today. But, uh, just way way too humid but anyway this ain't looking good I still don't know what I'm gonna do other than the three on top and three more down here and then a, and wrap the grip with leather and then make some kind of design down here don't know what it's gonna be yet so when I get everything figured out, I'll come back at you. Alrighty? Okay. Bye-bye. It's been a while since I've done anything with a carving knife, so uh, which is really sad. I think I should keep it going because I, I really love the carving aspect. But uh, all it is, kind of make little grooves, and six little grooves here for right now, just to follow uh, for the grindstone, diamond stone to follow. So I probably won't video of that but anyway if I do I will set her on fast forward and plow through it really quick so still don't know what I'm going to do for the, the total design of this thing it's got me got me kind of stumped but I'll keep thinking I'll keep thinking alrighty let me uh, get the camera set down and See if we can do the, the groove cuts. Alrighty.
Okay. Got that done. Let me get the camera back up and around here. Well, that part of it's done. I can tell I haven't done it for a while. My hands are already sore just from those six little grooves. But then I've been doing a lot of sanding too, so. Um, <laughs> speaking of sanding, I had uh, some videos from sanding. And guess what? I deleted them. I thought I had them downloaded in the computer, but I didn't. And they've been deleted. I took them off the SD card. I have no idea what I was thinking. Not too bright. But I've got a little bit of stuff from today, so <laughs> I hope I can make up for it. But it, like I was saying, it was just the sanding. Um, it would have been super fast forward. But, uh, it just, uh, the mind is not working too good right now. So I got to figure out what in the world I am going to do down here. And like I said, this is such a small stick. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough one. I had to cut uh, probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches off the bottom here because it was split up from where, where it was cut off, it was split back. So I had to cut that off, but that didn't, uh, didn't do a whole lot. I mean, for uh, making it a, a bad stick or anything, it just made it two inches shorter. But I'm stumped. So let me think about what I'm going to do with this and uh, we'll get back with you. Alrighty. Okay. Hey everyone. Welcome back. What I'm going to do today on my walking stick is I decided, seeing how it's such a thin uh, stick, that I really couldn't think of anything that I think would have looked good on it that I could have done. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take and I'm going to put these dimples in probably down to about here and then I'm going to put another three three rows down underneath it uh, and the dimples will be they won't be straight on they will be in between It'll go in between and then the next row will go in between them and then the next row will go in between them. And if you look at it, when it's all done, it has kind of a circular uh, motion to it, I guess. So, let me get the camera set up. I'm going to go through it first with a uh, coarse diamond and then with a fine diamond afterwards. The fine diamond, I tried doing the dimples just with the fine, and it just it's too slow. <laughs> I guess you could say too slow. It, it's faster to do it with this and then go over it real quick with this. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me get the camera set up and we'll get rolling.
And remember, grab your cane, your hiking stick, your walking stick, whatever you use, and get out there because nature is beautiful.